Jadron here. What's going on, guys? Quadron Racer from the Racer series. Look at those stripes. This is it's going to fly all over the place. Three stripes on this means uh, extra increased horsepower. Let's go. Um, here's a look at a controller. I've not looked at the directions on this. I don't think I need to. You have an on-off button here. You have a left to right. Maybe that's for your yaw to adjust it. You have a flip button. FS. I'm ex I guess fast and slow. I don't know. Um, speed control. Then you have a front and back trim here. And then you also have a left and right trim here. We're going to get this binded. We're going to fly it. These little gates. If you follow my YouTube, these gates, that, that one there, that one there, and that one there. These gates actually came with this. I've been using it with drones like that. And like that one over there flying FPV. This doesn't have a camera on it, so this is going to have to be done line of sight. But that's where those gates actually came from. This has a toggle on it. We're going to go ahead and flip the toggle here. And this is a proprietary battery, uh, so to speak. It's, it's soldered in. So you want to maintain this uh, if you let it sit, charge it every once in a while. Because if the battery goes on it, the battery goes on it. So we've turned this on. It's blinking. Up and down we should be bound. Solid light. And what is going on? I hear noise. I'm assuming one of the prop guards are hitting. Let's see here. No. 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 Hmm. I hear noise that I do not like. Yes, okay, one of the prop guards are hitting. It's this one. And... Bam. Okay, cool. So we got that figured out. All we're going to do is we're going to bend that backwards. Bam. Noise gone. Uh, that's that's pre-flight. Check your motors. Make sure you don't hear any, uh, any odd noises. Okay, so this is going to have three different speed rates. Hit that FS button. Second. Third. First. Let's go ahead and throw it up in the first. And, uh-oh. It says... It's pitched forward pretty hard. Uh, so let's try to correct that. Uh, let's see here. Woo! Keep your eye on the drone. Bam! Hung up there. Uh, let's see here. We're going to flip this back around this way. So it wants to go forward. So let's correct this from going forward. And we are going to click back. That might be good. Let's see. It's still going forward. Still going forward. Not as much. Alright, that's about centered. Um, so again, the way I corrected that was that. So here we go. Just going to fly like that. Good, okay. So let's get through one of these gaps if we can by line of sight. Whoop. Bam, right through it. And smacked off that one. I'm going to go over here. Let's try to get through this blue one, line of sight, and nope, maybe we could bring it back. Bam, did it backwards. So that's what those are for. It's a little bit harder to do line of sight than actually flying FPV. Not to say FPV is easy by any means, but uh, let's try to do it backwards. Bam, did it backwards. All right, let, let's crank this up. Let's get them racing stripes working for us. Going right in the third speed. Woo! Bam, bam. <laughs> All right, we're going to move the hacks over that way we don't step on it. And we're just going to go over here. We are going to grab this. And uh, I don't know if you could see out my window. It has snowed. Uh, we were outside playing in the snow. I had the hubs and desire out in the snow. If you want to catch that flight, that's already on YouTube. Check it out, guys. All right, so let's keep this close here. I want to show you guys a little bit of y'all rate as it wanders off. Your blue LEDs are your front, your red are your back. I like when companies keep the red lights in the back. Kind of resembles a car. Tail lights in the back makes it easy for orientation. Let's go ahead and bust through this blue one here. Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Here we go. Nope. Try to do it backwards. <laughs> We're stuck on it. Look at this. It just wrapped itself around those poles. Bam. So again, the the idea for this drone setup that they sold all this stuff with it, and again, I got this dirt cheap. I got it from a uh, uh, shoe store. 
it was a good concept if this had a camera on it. If this was set up like a drone like this, where you could knock into uh, FPV goggles. That's what that's what these gates are good for, and I've actually been using them for that. But let's go ahead and uh, try to get into a funnel. Bam, there's a little funnel action for you. Yes. What? Went right around the top of that gate. Some funnel action. Woo, easy. And again, easy orientation. Red is your back, blue is your front. Let's go through this. Let's go through the gate. Let's do it. Come on. Bam, right through it. Let's come back. What? Circled around it. Uh-oh. Lost my orientation. Was not thinking. And this thing's gone. It is gone. No, maybe it's sitting right up there. I see it. Okay, we got a box back here. That's good. I thought that was all the way down there. And bam, it would have been gone. So all the drones that I have sitting here. There, have a look. We got a lot of drones sitting here. I was not about to move all those. And bam. That's the Hubson Desire. That's uh, the drone that I had out. Not the exact drone. I own two of them. I took another one out. But uh, let's go ahead and get this back in the air. So crashability, it's able to crash as we just saw. Flyability is pretty good. Let's let's take this out of crazy speed. Try to control this through through this gap. Whoop, bouncy, bouncy. Woo! Alright, we're good. Let's try to get this to come back through this orange one. Yes! And we have yet to hit the gray one. The gray one's a little bit further, it's a little bit lower. Let's see if we can hit the gray one. Come on. Bam, right through and back. What? Sweet, and then we're going to try to go through the orange one again. What? Didn't hit the bars. We're coming back. We're coming back. Ease on, ease on. No, we smacked it. And now our blue is to the side, so we need to orientate. Turn out, and bamzo. So this could be fun, especially for a child, um, or even an adult if you want to challenge yourself on line of sight. I'm pretty good with line of sight. Bam, went in and out. Um, this will do it. I mean, this is going to do it on a smaller scale, and most people generally don't have, ever have to fly line of sight like this. What's right through it? Let's try to bring it back. Myself, I've been doing this for a while. Bam! Not on this specific setup. But uh, in abandoned areas, bam, right through it. Um, in abandoned areas, flying through like glass windows with drones that don't have cameras on it. And here we go. We're going to bring it back, maybe. Right back. Bam! flying in and flying out and people asking me how I'm doing that and it's by line of sight it's me getting a feel for the drone like I'm doing here in and out as you just saw here and being able to just hit those gaps kind of put myself in the flight seat of the drone bam in and we'll try to bring it back maybe maybe whoop nope hold on try to go in ease on in there no, we're wrapped up again and tied up. So this thing's going to grab these poles, which is good. It doesn't send it flying. You just make sure you kill your motors when that does that. Otherwise, you're going to burn out your motors. We're not going for a full flight time here, guys. I'm just about done with this. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're already at eight minutes and change. Take a minute or so for jabber jaw. This is going to get a good flight time. And again, it came with, where is it? Gray gate here. Orange gate blue gate and they came with stickers i don't know if i have a sticker i don't know where the stickers are they came with stickers to put over top of those guys if you haven't subscribed do me a favor please do down below instagram link check me out on instagram later